I heard somebody lately say that they put a transfer of deed clause in their contract. So if their buyer misses a certain number of payments, they automatically get the house back. You know, I've never heard of a transfer of deed clause. I mean, you put any kind of clause in a contract that you want to, you know, right of, of firstborn. I mean, you can put some crazy stuff in a contract. You got to come wash my car once a week for, for the next six months. I mean, just all kind of things. Uh, most commonly what we hear uh, with regard to taking back a property, if somebody fails to pay is a, uh, a pre-signed deed uh, that that's kept on file that we can just go file if somebody misses payments. And I've even heard people say uh, to make a seller feel more comfortable, they will give them a quick claim deed that they can go file uh, if we quit, keep ma if we quit making payments after we've taken sub something subject to, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. What's to prevent that seller from going and filing that deed 10 years in the future if they just want their house back after you've been paying on it for 10 years? It's just, just insane. You know, uh, a, a pre-signed deed, a uh, quick claim deed on file that either party can file in case of default sounds great, but as a practical matter, it's probably not going to fly if it goes to court. So I don't think that's something you should count on. The first thing you should count on uh, in working with people is, first of all, you have uh, everything's in writing. Everybody understands what's going on. There's total disclosure. And, and then just keeping communication open uh, between both parties. You know, if somebody fails to do something, don't be afraid to call them about it. Try to have a conversation with them about it, about what's going on. But these, you know, pre-filled out deeds that your lawyer holds and somebody can file it at any time uh, that they get mad or somebody doesn't do something. I don't think that's a good idea. And like I said, as a practical matter, uh, I don't expect that would, would, uh, would work if you found yourself in court. So uh, that's not something that I would rely on along with a transfer of deed clause, whatever that is. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out these other great videos and podcast episodes.